Back with it. We're doing it live. <laughs> What's up, Helldivers? Oh, we're live right now? We're live right now. Oh, wow. Guess who's back? In the studio. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> back again. It's Butters, Butters. back. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's back? Welcome Guess back, back, man. You missed a lot. Holy I crap. Did, you took a back. hell of a week off. Yeah. Went on a trip. Yeah. Wasn't a vacation. <laughs> it was a trip. It was a trip. I bet it was a trip. Yeah. Welcome but, back, man. Good yeah. to have you here. It's good to um, be back. A lot, so of stuff, it, a lot of stuff went on. A lot of patches stuff. Patches dropped. Yeah. Patches for patches dropped. Patches for patches. War bonds dropped. War bonds. Patches for patches. People's intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff. Lots dropped. of stuff dropped. Lots of stuff dropped. <laughs> IQs across the board. Um, okay, so guys, for today's <laughs> uh, podcast, we're going to be covering the good, the bad, and the ugly of the new patch and the patches of the patch. Uh, the patches of the, the patch. The patches of the patch. The good, the bad, the ugly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to go over Now that we've had some time to play and kind of get used to the new way of things and, and we've found new issues... Uh, we're going to talk about that. We're also going to be talking about the Viper Commando War Bond. I've played a lot with that. I've had, I've got a lot of feedback about the the guns and armor and stuff like that. This is a this was a good War Bond. Yeah, I pulled in yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I uh, uh, you know, took about thirty minutes, just chill. And I immediately went upstairs, got on the computer, and hung Started out. With, hung, out hung out with K Man, and yep. and uh, I did did the daily, and you know, we just kind of took it easy. And, then I got on again last night and played for like three hours and goofed around a little bit. Barely scratched the surface of all this stuff. And a lot of new stuff. Everything seems a little off, a little weird, a little different. Guns are making new noises. You know, you know. Dude, they're they're, the, freaking, the they're graphics, clapping. The graphics looked a little tweaked. I don't know. If they, Did you fight bots? No. No? Oh. Well, the dude. order is on bug side, sir. Uh, I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah. I dabble. <laughs> I know. I do my part. <laughs> Yeah, I dabble, <laughs> dude. But, the um, the bots are shiny now. Yeah, I haven't fought any bots yet. Oh, you should go fight some bots. Mm. They look totally different. <laughs> it's weird. I when I after the that patch dropped, I went in and I was like, why is everything so shiny right now? <laughs> they were like chromed out, shiny and chrome. Yeah, it was shiny. They've been hanging chrome, out with man. the Morton Joe. Yeah, man, you get it. <laughs> uh, of course, we're gonna do a loadout of the week uh, for the podcast as well, and then we have a really freaking awesome thing to do at the end of the podcast today. There is officially a Legend of Dutch Butters wow. song available, uh, and we're going to listen to it for the first time. It's a live reaction. We've not watched it, lo- not listened to it before, but uh, uh, Endless Taverns, uh, a great YouTube channel that does a ton of really awesome yeah. original music for Helldivers and a lot of other things, um, went out of his way and made a Dutch Butters song. Yeah. How's well, that the, feel? Feels... Um... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard the song yet. I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out. So stay tuned for the end of the podcast. We're going to be listening to that. We will have it here on this channel, and then we'll uh, we'll definitely link it uh, to Endless Tavern's channel as well. It's got a lot of really, really cool stuff over there. Uh, okay, so good, the bad, the ugly for the new patch. Um, things I liked. I'm just going to go over the things I liked first. Because okay. I, don't, I don't want to know. I don't know how much you dove into I, it. I, I've played with the new uh, the new gun. The carbine, yeah, I think it's pretty rad. Eh, you don't like it? I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I don't have the knife yet. I've got the new armor, the new light armor. I've got the new gun. I, mm-hmm. um, I don't have a ton because I spent all my medals before I left. <laughs> you did, and, and then what I had, you do that for. I don't know. It's, it's like <laughs> ooh, shiny. <laughs> you gotta save that stuff up, man. <laughs> but I, I do have some of the stuff, and uh, yeah. So okay. Um, so the new scopes is the number one thing that I noticed because, Mm -hmm. um, especially I I was a fan of the tenderizer before the patch and now they just beefed it. It went from like 60 damage to 95 or something crazy like that. So that sucker pops and, uh, the new scopes on everything across the board, the the aiming, just the mechanics behind the aiming feels tighter. It feels different. And I, I think it might have to do with the, the Viper commandos new war bond has the, um, the upgraded like weapons control with the peak physique. So if you're wearing peak physique, peak physique, man, I need that. Yeah. So if you're wearing the Viper commando armor that has the peak physique uh, passive, your aim is like, it's like super tight. Okay. And you can like move around the map and it feels it's, there's less lag. You know how the, the other heavier guns and stuff like that have a lot of lag to them. Yeah. That's more or less yeah. gone for a lot of the lighter, okay. like primary weapons. I was wondering what that exactly meant. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, they use weird big words that Dutch Butters doesn't understand. <laughs> no, it's just, does it shoot straighter? 
<laughs> okay. Is, yes. it easy, is it easier to aim? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> good. All right. That's what you want. That's what I want. Yeah. Um, the, the Viper Commando Warbond, dude, I, I use the knife. The knife, I feel like, is more of a novelty. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, okay, I'm, I'm sacrificing my grenades for this. So it, it it's uh -huh. either I've got to be so good that I don't need grenades. So bring the single shot grenade pistol. Uh huh. Oh wait, you can't. You can't. You can only have one or the other. Never mind. No, you can. You can do the. Uh, as your second grenade pistol as a secondary, and then the the knives as your uh, grenade slot. You can do that. Can you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. Yeah. We'll give it a shot. Um, yeah. I've I've killed, um, a heavy devastator, regular devastator, and a rocket devastator with a knife. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It feels really good. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> Have you jumped up on a pointy rock and a tile bile titan walk over you and you jump up and slice it from sternum? To no. Sternum Wouldn't to that be badass? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty I cool. Know you can't do that. No, you can't do that. But I think if the titan is damaged enough and its life is low enough where all you have left is like that one last hit mm -hmm. and you use a knife to do it, I think that would work. Can you jump off of a rock onto the top of a bile titan, use your <laughs> gun to shoot a hole in its head and then throw a grenade in it and jump off and watch it blow up. Soon. Soon. They could recreate that, that thing from, from Starship Troopers. Yeah. That would be pretty dope. <laughs> That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> Just need an animation. <laughs> I saw an animation on I, I saw an animation on Instagram the other day where somebody animated a hell diver climbing up the leg of a, of a bile titan and doing exactly that. That'd be so good. It was like, yeah, I made the animation. Make it super hard to do. Yeah. But you know, just Gotta be some heroic things like that. It'd be really awesome for sure. I'd love some cutscenes <laughs> like that. Um, every so I've I had really a really really good time with the Viper Commando Warbond. Yeah, uh, I love the ammos, uh, the armors. I think they're really cool. I've got three. Apparently, there's only two in the Warbond, but somehow I got the third one, and I can't remember where I bought it from. Hmm. I have a light, a medium, and a heavy, and you only have a light and Are a heavy. Are you sure? I think you. I think you think you have a medium, but you really have a heavy. No, it's a medium armor. It's a hundred on the on the armor scale. Okay. I don't know where right. it came from. I th maybe it was in the superstore. You bought it somewhere. I guess. I don't know. Palstat just said, "Hey, get that saltiest special set of armor." <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that's happened. It's, 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 you know, it's the one. Stealth put it in his inventory. It's the one that's got like the. <laughs> it's got the scarf around it or something like that. It's mm. not the light. The light one has the armor going, the ammo going across his chest. I believe. And you. the heavy. I, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I don't remember buying it. I just. It's been a blur. It's okay. It's been a blur. Um, does it look cool? As long as it, it looks does. cool. Dude, fine. these are some of the cooler armors. <laughs> I, I love the sleeveless look with the tattoos on yeah. the back. You know, it's freaking rad. I, I really like it. the new uh, emote with the... Which one? With, with the, oh, the, the Dutch, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. I like that one. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I love how they're just hamming it up with these old yeah. school 90s action movies. Is that yeah, 80s I heard, or I heard there's a new weapon coming out. I don't know if we're going to talk about that. Are we? Is there? Well, I, I heard it was like some kind of shoulder mounted freaking quad rocket launcher thing like, just like in commando like in commando no way it's for like air units so you can take out like uh gunships and and shriekers I, I heard this today driving into work or just driving in here say less i want I heard it this yeah. give it to me i'll buy it right so now maybe that's a teaser or a spoiler or something but i don't know i did i did think i think <laughs> a stylosa or somebody was talking about it okay yeah man i'm in for that i we need more anti-air stuff for sure because um one of the things about the patch that I'm kind of on the fence about. Actually, I'm not on the fence. I hate it. Um, they added gunship patrols. Yeah. So even if you destroy the gunship factories, which is hard enough as it is, mm -hmm. now they're just randomly yeah, they're, like, they did the same through. thing with shriekers on on the bug side. Yeah. So we yeah. got these random random shriekers, freaking random. shriekers. But the, it's like but, last night I was playing with with uh, with Kay and 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 Def and the guys. Yeah. And um, all of a sudden these random shrieker patrols would just fly through. We're like, where's the nest? I don't know. I don't see a nest anywhere. There's nowhere on the round. <laughs> like, well, these shriekers are coming in. There's got to be a nest somewhere. Nope. nope. No nest. And it's like, well, son of a bitch. You Terrifying. Know? And they're hard to hit with the, with the sickle. Yeah. You know, I don't have everybody else has got their shotguns. <laughs> There's scatter guns. And I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did. <laughs> they, I, I move fast. To clip a wing off once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the gunships are so much harder than the shriekers. The shriekers are. Just gotta hit them in the nose. Right, well, the gunships. Yeah. No, you got to use the engines. You got to hit the engines. Oh, I thought it was the front. That's probably why you can't take them out. And you can't. I've been shooting at the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Damn you, it. But you also can't take out airships with the primary. Yeah. Unless it's, I don't even know if the eruptor works against them. I think, I think you, the quasar works. The quasar is not a primary. That's a well. I that's a not. stratagem. Don't use big words with me. <laughs> primary you know, and stratagem. One is a and big... three. One and three. <laughs> oh, okay. one and three. Okay. All right. 
A one so your, your number one three slot, your, one, your number one slot gun can't kill airships. You have to use a number three slot gun. A duh. A duh. One, or th- one or three. Is it a one or three slot? Do I call it down or do I not? Like, Does it make big boom? Does <laughs> it make big noise? Does it shoot hard? Speaking of big booms, dude, the, I noticed this the other day because I'm, you know, I'm deaf. I, I have my, yeah. my headphones on always 100%. Yeah, I never know if I'm talking to you or if it's just like, going through what you're doing. Um, and <laughs> I noticed the other day, I'm, I was, I'm playing solo by myself and I was using the tenderizer or something. And that freaking gun was like, it had some weight to it. Like mm-hmm. I could feel it in my teeth. Yeah. It was like, prop, prop. I'm like, oh my God, this freaking thing is loud now. I love it. I like that. That's good. I like that stuff too. I like that they've gone through and kind of like tweaked and adjusted some of the, yeah. the noises and stuff in the game, you know. And you know, I'm a, like, st- and I'm a stim junkie, right? Yeah, oh yeah. So this new stim upgrade is, uh-huh. oh. Yeah, but I, I I think and I maybe I'm crazy last night, but I could have swore when I was using them my sickle that there's a little metallic ting on the end of it when you get done shooting. Yeah, it sounded a little bit different. I might be insane. No, I don't I, think I you are. I think it might be real. I feel like I feel like they've tweaked everything just like just slightly five percent. Yeah, just to where you like. Yeah, because I went through the patch notes and I both I mostly just talked about the damage that they increased on right. some of the weapons and stuff like that. But there was a lot of things in there that I didn't. <laughs> it's like. I, I, I think I'm such a weird gamer because I, I go through all this kind of stuff, right? And everybody's, we, we know people who write freaking novels on the percentage differences between, you know, damage from this and damage from that. And, yeah. You know, the modifiers for standing behind a rock and have it just the eruptors 6.2% on this thing. And, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't fucking care about that kind of stuff. I want it to look cool. I want it to sound cool. <laughs> and, and I want it to do a lot of damage. And it was, does it do those things? It's like, did they fix it? Does, it? does it sound like that's supposed to sound? Yeah. But yeah, I get it. It's just fun. Um, but I'm glad that they took some time to adjust some of the aesthetics as well as the yeah. stats. Yeah. That's what I guess what I'm trying to say. Yeah. The new scopes are dope. I, I love the new scopes for like the AMR and the Eruptor and stuff like that. It actually looks like a sniper scope. And mm-hmm. it's much more accurate now. All the scopes across the board are accurate. Uh, the the railgun had an upgrade. Where the the little dot that you had, the yeah. little red dot, is now much smaller. I don't so it use makes the you, railgun a lot. It makes yeah. you super accurate now, which is cool. Like they across the board, they just kind of improved yeah. the feel of the game, as far as I can tell. I uh, I got back from my trip last night, and I immediately went and fought bugs with everybody. But I I reverted to my old feel good loadout. You know, oh, the quasar and the shield pack. Quasar, no <laughs> quasar and a guard dog, laser guard dog. Okay, yeah, and you know standard guns and uh it felt nice but i, I needed to get my fingers back to which they suck most of the time anyway but nah. i'm gonna start experimenting more this week with some of the newer stuff but i just wanted to get in there and play yeah you know so you ready for the dislikes oh yeah oh, one more one more thing that i absolutely the, the entire patch is worth just this one thing is now being able to see the the routes on the map of for each oh, planet. Yeah, yeah. That is such a freaking cool upgrade, dude. Like being able to mm-hmm. see the lines of travel between these planets. And one of the things that I noticed, and they've they've mentioned it too, is like if you if you notice that there's a planet where the attack is originating from, mm-hmm. you can go you can squat up and go to that planet and then that will prevent further expansion. Nice. So instead of just trying to fight the front lines and work your way back, you can So you can when there's not a major you order can, going, you can go into that other planet and yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you could flank them basically, cool. and then stop them from progressing. Maybe that's how we win the war. Maybe that's how we strategy. <laughs> that's the thing is like, how are we going to get that many people to do that though? But, like, you know, hey, they, everybody. They, uh, here's the thing though: we can't ever win. No, because the game would never. Win. There would be no game. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, technically, it's a little, it's a winless war. Good job, guys. Yeah. You go play a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you took hey, that planet. Good job. It's gonna be uh, play Fortnite. Yeah, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't want to play that game. I won. We got too good. That at game it. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Go play Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't want to play Fortnite. I don't want to play with um, eight year olds. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned the Chrome bots. I mentioned the airships. Uh, I do think the airships are easier to kill now, though. They're they're squishier. Are they okay? They're a little bit easier. I've not experienced them yet. Okay. Because I know what <clears throat> I, don't play, the, I don't play bots when the major orders on bugs. When I was playing after the patch, <laughs> it was still on the bot side. Okay, we still had to take Marfar or whatever give you it was. Stop shit, bro. I'm whatever, just man. <laughs> bots is way Same cooler. thing as the bugs not helping on bots. Yeah. When the major orders over there, freaking hell. I fought bugs this morning. I, was, <laughs> I know you. Bro, did. I was so bored. You have been doing some bug fighting, yeah. but. Uh, okay, so the dislikes: um, more airships. Like fuck, dude. <laughs> Another <Come already>. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's already hard enough. Yeah, I remember God last week when I was playing before I left. 
there was the we did a mission. There was like eighteen of those things. Man, it was insane. <laughs> yeah. Like oh Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I and now they're just randomly <laughs> yeah. patrolling. I mean, it does add. I will say this: it does add to that like Terminator esque feeling. Yeah. Where you're like trying to hunker down and I'm gonna and turn on the hidden. Terminator soundtrack next time I'm fighting. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Dude. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah. Might be, make some some mood music. I yeah. could dig that. Um I've been okay, so they buffed the stealth, um, but not I don't think enough yet. Um, but now if you hide in the bushes, mm -hmm. your your signature actually goes down. Oh. Especially if you're wearing like the Viper Commando outfits and stuff like and the scout armor and stuff like that, like mm -hmm. you'll be undetectable, which is really cool. Uh, me and Christ did a couple of um, stealth missions the other day with varying success, but to it's you, it's totally doable now. Do you feel like more of a badass when you have no sleeves? On yes. Your shirt? When you're on a cold planet? Yes. It's like, oh, I'm not cold. I don't need that freaking. I don't need no sleeves. I don't need no sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> like my tattoos and my muscles. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's cold. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I, I do think <laughs> I do I do think the inclusion of like some skin. Uh, is an interesting new way of showing the Helldivers because if you notice, and they don't give you a choice of your skin color, uh -huh. there's there's no like toggle switch. Yeah. It just changes just randomly. Just, oh, it does. It does. Yeah, it changes randomly. One, if you're you'll be that. dropping in and you'll be a white dude, and then you die, and when your pod comes down, you'll be a black dude, and then if oh, you die no, again, that's, that's you come down gotta, and you'll be, be so a careful. you'll be like a tan guy. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna be like, stop, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Robert just Downey Jr. mode, but. I'm going to go, oh, it's okay to say retard on this mission. Okay, good. <laughs> but Never go full retard. Never go full retard. Yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. does make the um, the lore that each hell pod is a different person uh -huh. more accurate. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm like, oh, man. Because I'm really kind of, I like I like the idea that you're a clone. Well, Dutch Butters never dies. Ne but, well, that's true. So. I mean, fair enough. So don't leave. Don't wear the sleeveless shirts then. <laughs> like, Dutch, you got a tan all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed it changed. And I like that. I think it's. I think it's cool. It's funny because it just, I, I, it just know, adds to the lore. I did think that I saw something like last night. Yeah. But I just. Uh, just it's like, very no. subtle. You don't really notice it because they got war I, paint I and stuff care. on. Whatever. I don't give a crap. No, I don't care either. I think. I think it's funny that it adds yeah. to the lore of like each hell pod. There's somebody. Is a new somebody dude. out there is gonna make a thing. Out ah, of it. don't make a thing out of it. Shut up. <laughs> Who gives a shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so there was a major issue with this new patch when it came out. It was the the social tab was just completely borked. It was it, yeah. it wasn't working right. People couldn't add, jump in. We were getting game crashes. I did experience a little bit of that, um, like the first or second day after the patch. I noticed that the social tab was off. Like people would, were not online, and they'd be like, "Hey, we're online right now. Do you want to play?" I'm like, "I don't. See, I don't even see you. You're not on." Um, but once, like maybe two three days in. My the regular crew that we usually run with, mm -hmm. I, I was able to find all of them. Yeah. I was able to jump on with all of them. I didn't really have that many crashes. I know a lot of people had a lot of issues, and I'm not trying to say that that didn't happen. But for me personally, it wasn't a game breaking like, oh man, this freaking yeah. sucks. I it, guess I guess I've been lucky. In yeah, fact, same. In fact, I, that I feel, yeah, it's like I we know we both know so many people have issues upon issues and kicks and stuff. Um, I've had a few. But I haven't had like this massive pain in the ass yeah. thing. I mean, I live stream most of the stuff. You, you can go back and actually see them. There was one time where I got kicked off. I couldn't get back on. It took mm -hmm. me about five minutes. And then there was some issues last night trying to get a, a beard on to the squad. We ended up actually disbanding and reconvening okay. on my ship. So maybe sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. But but it was, I think it I don't, I don't know some of us are on PC and some of us are on PlayStation or, you know. Some I think that are, makes a big some difference. Some of us are in, you know, Germany and some of us are in, <laughs> you know, Nevada. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's just, it, it's above my pay grade and I think they're working on getting a fix and I think they will. It's just. Well, they already did. They released a patch today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they were, today, that supposedly so. had fixed a bunch of issues. I think I'm going to delete my friends list and start over. Yeah. I, I'm really thinking about doing that. I got a lot of people. I just don't even know who they are. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So. When it was early on, when the game first came out, I was adding people. I mean, I've got people from, you know, 12 years ago. <clears throat> really? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? On Helldivers? I haven't, I haven't, not on Helldivers. Oh, okay. Just, you know, just my, just my Steam list. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. you. Know, so. Um, so, yeah, the bigger, the biggest issues were just this, the social tab. There's more bugs, more problems. Uh, the, the, sh the ballistic shield was broken. Um, if you, if you got knocked that. down and then you couldn't get back up again, if you had the shield on your back, it was weird. Um, but they fixed that today. Yeah, today is officially like they they replaced the. I need to I need to go to ballistic shield school. That's the big shield that you wear on your back, right? Yeah, you can take it off and 
yeah. do, the, do this thing with it. Dude, the shield wall the, thing the is The shield real. wall technique stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's great against bots. Not I want to so learn how to bots. play with that. So you should. I think I will. Well, uh, That's what's cool about this game. There's so many different styles and ways to play. Yeah. Different techniques. And- yeah. Speaking of, uh, I don't have anything for the ugly. I know it's good, bad, and the ugly. I, uh, do you have file titans? Too. File titans are ugly. Yeah, uh, bug bug planets are ugly. Hellmire's ugly. Hellmire's ugly. I wish why didn't we? Hell, why didn't we black hole Hellmire instead? I think they're gonna make us fight for it. They're gonna like Hellmire. I don't, I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it either. You know I saw, what? I, I saw some fire tornadoes in the desert yesterday. It was pretty cool. Was these, whoosh, oh, out here in real life? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw one the other day too. It's crazy. Uh, it's hot as hell in Vegas right yeah, now, guys. It's uh, like 120 degrees. <laughs> Stupid hot. Stupid hot. It's our winter. I don't even go outside. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything for the ugly. I, I didn't. The new pa- It's just kind of a gimmicky. You know, good back ugly. Blah, 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 but I don't have anything for it. I don't know. Um, Your mom's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the ugly. Perfect. Your mom. Uh, let's do a loadout of the week. What's that? So mean? a loadout of the week is a, a segment that you started, and then I when you were when you were thing. gone, I turn. I tried to turn it into like a thing. I saw that. And I liked it. I like what you did. Good. You took it. You you you. Yeah, you, you owned it. You yeah. put the stuff on. You went out and played with it. And uh, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Well, your loadout sucks, bro. No, no well, you didn't do that. But. Every time, every time I see like this is a bug loadout, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> My God damn it! I, I, I like having the bug side and the, and the bot side loadouts. What's what side are we doing this week? Bug. It's a bug side it's loadout. A bug load? Yeah, okay. it's a it's a bug major order, so it's a bug loadout for right. for this week. Um, this Straight is on. from. Beard of War. If you would like to uh-huh. submit your loadout of the week and be uh, featured on the podcast, go to our Discord, saltinerdiscord.com. There's an area in there. It says tips, tricks, and loadouts. Mm-hmm. Go there and just drop your loadout. Say, I use this, this, and this. And if you want to give a brief description of why you use it, by all means, go for it. I do want to add. So um, we're not going to let the same people do it every week. Yeah, I'm trying to pick different people. We want, to, we want, to, we want other people. We want new people to get a chance on. So if you were on last you week it. or this week or or whatever. And I did, I did have, two last week. You don't have week. to sit there and write us 18 pages about your loadout <laughs> because we're not going to pick it. Brief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to read that shit. <laughs> Love you, Fob Hopper. Oh, uh, yeah. Bro, What's up, Fob? Sun, <laughs> sunshine's in the chat. Uh, okay. Beard of War. This is a bug loadout. I have been running the medic armor, preferably light, with the breaker incendiary, grenade pistol, incendiary impact grenades, an eagle napalm, eagle airstrike, and the rocket pods if you're running solo, and the grenade launcher and supply pack. Fire. Fire. This is a heavy fire, fire build. Fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I played with this loadout. I took this loadout in and played with it, and uh, you use a lot of fire. And I actually, <laughs> I went to Hellmire to test it out too. So it was just like, it was just fire everywhere. It was insane. Um, I hate fighting bugs. It's super frustrating. The rocket pods, <laughs> the rocket pods are clutch though they've been upgraded to the point now where they're actually super useful um and they target like the the heavier armored uh enemies Mm -hmm. so if you're fighting a charger and you're by yourself with rocket pods you throw that thing down with do 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 and it freaking kicks the shit out of that thing so so what's the what's the trick to this loadout what's the what's what's uh well the grenade launcher is i mean this is to me i would call this the the nest busting Okay. Because you got the grenade launcher with egg, the ammo egg, pack. Egg killing and nest nest busting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because you can you can roll in with the grenade launcher from a distance mm-hmm. and hit those heavy nests and you don't actually have to go into the crater. You can stay on the outskirts of it and just gunk, oh, I love gunk, doing that. Gunk, and you blow it up from yeah. the outside. Um that's that's how I used it when I was lo- loading this out. I, I I had a lot of fun with that. Um and like I said, the, the rocket pods for the Eagle Airstrike now are, are pretty good. I like using those. Um I I don't run the supply pack. Yeah. I don't usually run out of ammo until the cooldown on my resupply and I just drop it in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then that opens up a backpack slot. I have personally, and I know I'm going to get arguments in the comments, but I have personally not found a good use for the supply backpack because I could just call shit down. Unless you just consider yourself that support player who can go along. Sure. And, and yeah. people and that, locked up. And that's fine too. That does come in clutch. Um, I've I've used Christ. We'll do that every yeah. once in a while. I'll have the the airburst rocket, yeah. and I'll be like maybe down to my last rocket. And he'll run up to me just randomly and just run up to me and be like, "Look light." Yeah. I think uh, last night I was playing, and, and, and I think it was Beard came up and stealth loaded me up because mm-hmm. I, I was I was literally looking around for shit on the ground. To pick <laughs> yeah, up. yeah. Oh, no, God, I got I got something. You know, I'm out of stems, I'm out yeah, of grenades yeah. or whatever. And uh, 
And, and he's all like, dude, I just loaded you up. I go, what are you talking about? It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I didn't even see you come along and, and put yeah. stuff in. But. That for, for the support role, I can see absolutely I can see the usefulness. But for me to have that as a backpack slot, yeah, if I'm not if I'm not you're, the it's support, just, it's not your style. It's not my I'm like, dude, I'm no. going. I, I got I'm you're, blowing you're, shit you're, up. You're, you're the guy that says, you guys go take care of that shit. I'm gonna go over here and climb on top of mountains with my jetpack and shoot stuff from a distance. And, yeah, man. Yeah. I love God, I love doing that. <laughs> it's fun. It the is support fun. with the new eruptor where they they boosted it now. Yeah. Um that thing is freaking clutch. Between like, with, with with the crew we run with between you doing that and Kay going out with his with his shotgun and his catching everything on fire. Yeah. It's it's crazy. I mean the the, the other two of us just kind of like sit around wait for something to come off the edges to see if something so happens. I was de- I was debating on bringing this up, but since you've mentioned it, I want to bring something up. How do you feel about the the lone wolf type players who squad up with you but then just fuck off and go do something else? While you're I've, on the planet, I, 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 as long as everything's being covered, I got no real issues with that. Somebody's okay. got to go out there and get all the extra ext- extraneous stuff. Okay. I want every sample. I want every credit. I want every, you know. So you want to scout? There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't bother me at all. Okay. I mean, that's what you like to do. That's what Beard likes to do. Or is it? Well, I try. Def to, likes to do that. I try to stick close to you. Yeah. But, but I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be on the outside. Well, that's what you do is different than some just some rando. This is, and this is why I don't play with people I don't know. Yeah. Because there's always going to be that one guy who just goes in and just goes and fucks off and does whatever you want. Right. You know. I don't like that. No. I like they if don't you're communicate. If, they yeah. Don't, you know, it's like like squad up, hang out with right. your team. If if right. you're gonna go do something, like I'll usually be like, hey, I see a like Christ will do the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I see a point of interest. I'm gonna go check it out. And you just yeah. buzz over there, and then you buzz yeah. back, and he lets you know what's going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, there's there's cock rock over there. This yeah. 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 Exactly. Or like, oh, I, I found the stalker nest. I'm going to, I'm going to head that way. I'm going to go take care of it. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And you just blitz right it's for like, it. Okay. Go. Like those are, those are important things. I yeah. feel like a, a scout or like a lone wolf type character can go do. Right. But when you're just like in a random squad and you just bounce out and mm-hmm. you're just like roaming around and, and they're over here fighting for their lives against bile Titans mm-hmm. and bullshit. And you're just like, doop, 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 doop. Yeah. I don't like that. It irks me. Right. Not, not in like I'm a, I'm, I'm not going to kick you out of the group, but I'm also going to be like, yo dude, it's like, yeah, you're not going to get invited on the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> but Mike, we're not going to screw you out of your... Out it's your like, point. I might not call you in for a reinforcement. Because <laughs> if you're on the other side of the map, you're, I'm going to call you in over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Uh, I want people to play the way they feel comfortable playing, but I also... It's a, it's a tactical group mm-hmm. game. Like, that's, well, see, that's the, the one group. thing I don't understand is, like, all these people that want to go out and play this game solo. It's... It, I know you like that, <laughs> but it's not a solo player game. No, it's not. It's and a squad-based yeah. game. And, you know, the problem is, is when you get four solo players playing together, they all want to go out and do their own thing, and they don't, they're just not in no. this squatting up. You got to have that group. The game's way easier when you're all back-to-back and there's stuff coming in at you on four directions. You're all, dude. It's way more fun, you know? It's way oh, more epic. Dude, you missed. I heard about this. Dude. I, I know what you're talking about. I heard about this. So we were on Marfark during the last major order for the bot side. And I don't, I think it was level six because now the super samples are on level six. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's an ugly. I changed my mind. I don't like that. You don't it's, like it? It's too, too easy. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> because it, originally there was three super samples on six. Mm-hmm. And then I think they brought it down to two it's now. Two, two on six. It needs to be one. Yeah. It needs to be one. If you want two super samples, you go to seven. If you want three super samples, you go to eight. If you want five, six super samples, go to nine. Like yeah, this, I, this I, whole, you. <laughs> you drop it down a little bit. That's it. I think I think stuff's too cheap on the uh, war bonds too. For the metals. For the metals. Mm. Yeah, I want there needs to be stuff for people to save up for. Save up yeah, for. I get that. This this war bond is the most expensive so far, as far as like the stuff that you get. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the thing. Maybe they're working on that, but they they still need to fix the res- requisition chip thing. Right. I have no use for requisition chips. Yeah. At all. What am I going to do with them? Why am I collecting them? Why do I get two sure thousand per round? To spend them on here. It's gotta year. be, gotta be. Give me an extra stratagem. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, we were on Marfart, dude. We were uh-huh. extracting, but it was the King of the Hill extract. You know how it goes? Yeah, like, yeah. there's two paths, and then there's like a little pedestal, yeah. and you sit up on it. Yeah. Um, we were up on that thing, and it was bot side, and we had, I had the heavy machine gun, we had two auto cannons, and Christ had his laser cannon. Uh-huh. And we sat on that hill <laughs> and we legitimately had 10, 15 minutes left in the mission oh, time. No. And we called in extract. And then we just sat there and we we're like, how long do you think we can go? <laughs> and we just 
it was just insane, dude. That's, it was awesome. We just blew everything away. I think we had like 400 kills each like by the end. Three, 400 kills each. Yeah, just standing there, just taking them down. And we could see them coming in from, like, over the hills and mountains and stuff like that. Bringing the war elephants in and shit. Yeah, Yeah, it was legit, man. Oh, out of bodies. Dude. Let's go. (laughs) It was wild. I had so much fun. fun. It was no reason for it. Yeah. We could have left at any time. We were just like, meh. And and the Pelican ones, please board the (laughs) ship, please. We've got to go. go. we got to get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) It was hilarious. Shut up, we're killing. Yeah, man, we were having too much fun. Uh, all right, shout out to Beard of War for that loadout of the week. Appreciate it, man. Uh, keep them coming. Go to saltinerdiscord.com and put yours in there, and we will highlight it on the podcast if it's uh, if it's good enough and if we can have some fun with it. Uh, okay, so now the moment we've all been waiting uh, for. We're going to do this? We're going to do oh, the legend boy. of Dutch Butters. So, yeah. Oops, I'm going to go to the wrong camera. There we go. Um, shout out to Endless Taverns. He's got a great YouTube channel where Spotify you can find channel well. Spotify channel as well, uh, where you can find some really awesome, cool, unique, original songs specifically about hell divers. Yeah. Uh, he, I know he does a couple other things too, but right now he's pretty heavy on the hell diver mm-hmm. stuff. Um, there's like mock radio channels that you can listen to now where it's got like a radio DJ saying like, yeah. okay, and the next up we've got this classic song from super earth. And it's like, <laughs> it's so freaking cool, dude. Uh, so shout out to him. We're going to listen to the legend of Dutch. Well, I, I'm still trying to figure out this him because, you know, here we are. We're just doing our thing. And, you know, I listen to his stuff before we do in the podcast. He has this one really cool kind of like a sea chanty song. It's called Hell. Yes. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. I, in fact, I told you, I sent it to you. Go, Let's make this our theme song. And you, and you were all like, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> well, I like the but, heavy metal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get it. Dun, 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 dun. But then he then but then Tavern showed up in our discord. And yeah. We're like, whoa. What's up, dude? He's, and then, then you know, and then he starts dropping little things. He's like, this Dutch Butters character is kind of interesting. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> and here we are. Here we are, you know, a month later. So, yep. We got crazy. ourselves. So, this is, a, this is a reaction, guys. We have not listened yeah. to this yet. Neither me or Dutch have listened to it. I mean, look at that thumbnail you made. I, that's so badass. That's, that's insane. It looks like you, too. It does look kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. All right, you ready to go? Maybe yeah, The Legend of Dutch Butters by make, Endless Taverns. Let me make sure that we have plenty of volume on the computer. Okay. And here we go. Here we go. When names as tall as legends and gorge Dutch butters, the man, the myth, the force With a bourbon on the rocks, he charts his course Every mission, his name's a decree A blood, a still valor, a call to be free The Dutch <laughs> descends, the enemies flee For in the shadow, they see destiny Oh my god! This is the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> His name echoes thunder. His name echoes thunder. <laughs> Pop drop with Dutch butter. <laughs> that is amazing. In every dive, in every fray, Dutch butter. This space Vikings leading the way. Matched and revered. No, you are protected by his glorious beard. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Dutch butters Oh and a space melting solo <laughs> Wow I'm going to cry, I think. <laughs> Manly Dutch butter <laughs> tears. <clears throat> That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Bro. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> he knocked it out of the park, Hot man. Hot drops of Dutch butter. Hot drops of Dutch butter. The legend of Dutch butter. Wow. Bro, that, that is, is the coolest fucking thing I've ever heard. That is the coolest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Endless Taverns. Endless, you, yeah, dude. Bro, that killed it. Knocked that, it out of the park. I can't wait for get. I can't wait to see some comments and reactions when he, he releases because he's he's kept this private until we. Do yeah, this. yeah. I think we're gonna. I'm gonna try and coordinate with him so we release it at the same time. Like yeah. our video and his video will go live at the same time. Make, so. you, we can we can just cut this reaction out and make it its own little. Video. <laughs> we absolutely could. Yeah. 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 Wow. Holy shit! I never thought. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel special right now. You should, man. <laughs> That's fucking cool as fuck. We got to show Jude. I was, oh, she would love that I'll, shit. We will in a minute. But yeah, we, yeah. It's like, I'm listening to this guy's stuff on Spotify just uh -huh. randomly six weeks ago. Oh, that's pretty cool. And now the dude wrote a freaking song about me. It's wild. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Call my name? We yeah, did. Do you want to hear something badass? Yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. All right, guys. Your this on. is our, our uh, ambassador of estrogen. She is not a hell diver, but she is a uh, metalhead at I'm heart. Done. <laughs> What's up, Jude? You need, you need your, you need your uh, but okay, that's gonna be it for the podcast. We we reacted. That's the end. We're at thirty-five minutes. Perfect. Welcome back, Dutch. <sighs> We're gonna have a good I'm, time. I'm man. I'm shocked. <laughs> uh, this is that's the coolest fucking thing. I've that's ever the coolest seen fucking thing we've ever seen. Man. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, we're gonna show Jude. Thank you, Helldivers, so much for being with us and uh, helping this channel grow. Go to saltynerdiscord.com, join up with the community, and hot drop with Dutch butters. I am crying a little bit. <laughs> it was glorious. All this right, is guys. amazing. Stay salty. We'll see you next week.